Most business leaders would agree that all aspects of their organization would benefit from strong leadership on all levels. But putting their money where their mouth is and investing in leadership development isn't something they do to achieve that goal. There continues to be a trend where middle managers are selected based on their functional competence rather than on their ability to engage, nurture, and empower employees and teams. Senior leaders deceive themselves into believing that because they didn't need development to be successful, next-gen leaders shouldn't need it either. Part of their deception has to do with their blind spots around their own competence. Most leaders want to believe they are good or even great leaders instead of objectively measuring their effectiveness against a leadership or executive competency model. Instead of seeing their behavior as contributing to any issues the business may have, they rationalize, deceiving themselves and getting in the way of creating effective solutions with authentic leadership. Unknowingly, the leader has shifted to self-protective survival behaviors where the agenda is now to survive the situation and continue to feel good about themselves instead of dealing with the performance issue. We call this the dysfunction of self-deception.